This is Raptor News. I said I was done unless God wills. So God will for me to do one more exchange, God willing. So today, destroyer of the Gentiles, that's what he called himself, and congregants, hear the Lord our God for once in your life. The book was changed. Except, except the book itself is telling you that it was infiltrated by pagans. Except the fact that the book is infiltrated. My job, if you don't understand, is to point out the infiltration. The infiltration is Jesus Christ added to the Old and New Testament. My job is to show you that you never worship no Christ, nor Moses, nor Noah, nor Adam, nor any of the prophets and our ancestors before ever worship Jesus Christ. God don't change. And the book says Jesus Christ don't change. Today, yesterday, forever. So why if Jesus Christ did not save the children of Israel twice when they went into captivity, save them from 40 years of wandering in the desert and everything else, why would he come and save now? It is an infiltrated lie by the pagans, man. Y'all got to get over your worship of the nation's false god that was added again it was added and one more time that was added and we're going to prove it you know and then you ain't apologize for the other two times you was proven wrong you prideful and your, your pride is going to get you and your congregation sent to hell do you know and i'm talking about the congregations of destroyer of the gentiles willy bully that you are going to follow him into hell. He ain't worth it, man. Let his tough talk fool you, man. Daniel 7, 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. The great words is blasphemy. He shall wear out the saints of the Most High. We are tired of this bull crap with y'all and Jesus, man. And think to change the times and laws. And they did, because it says right there, and they shall be given into his hand. He was able to do so until a time and times and the dividing of times, which is just broke down to the time of the Gentiles, the day the dead are raised. You got to know the scriptures, man. And I'm going to tell you, destroy the Gentiles. I didn't did this. I've been on this. I didn't. This ain't my first rodeo. I didn't discuss Isaiah 53 too many times I'm tired of discussing it if you would just go watch some of the videos you can learn you know and I'll say this a long time ago when I didn't know I believed that it could possibly be talking about Christ but we have to study to show ourselves approved when studying deeply enough you realize that the whole book is infiltrated and then you have to warn your people Hebrews 7 12 is telling you again the book is infiltrated for the priesthood being changed to what Roman Catholic Church right there is made a necessity a change also of the law so they changed the priesthood to white and they changed the law to white they added their image into the law and that's what we going through right now you are trying to prove the white man's law first Maccabees 348 they laid open the book of the law who did wherein the heathen the white man has sought to paint the likeness of their image make you worship God in the flesh a white man but where did they put it? Not only in the New Testament, but in the law. So three times it's telling you that they changed the law. Why did they change the law? Because they changed the priesthood and they changed the high priest. Right? And made it Christ. Christ crucified. One like the Son of Man. And I don't want to get into that today. Today I'm going to keep it brief.
Isaiah 53rd chapter. That's what we about to get into. And we're going to find out if you all can tell me who this guy is. Listen to it good. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of the heavenly father and afflicted. Isaiah 53, 4 proves you wrong. Surely he has bore our griefs and carried our sour, sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. So if you don't know the story of Isaiah 53, it is a infiltrated verse. And the story is talking about a man that had a sickness. He was gravely ill. And then he recovered and lived a long life and had children. It is not 100% talking about Christ. It was twisted. Uh, again, the scriptures were twisted to make you believe it was talking about Christ. Let's get into these twisted scriptures. Grief definition is deep sorrow. <clears throat> Sorrow definition, a feeling of distress. Sin definition, an immoral act considered a transgression against divine law, the Torah. Britain, subjugate translation. He bears our sins and is pained for us. We accounted him to be in trouble and in suffering and in affliction so let me just make it so this translation is different from your translation in the King James so this is the King James right here saying surely he bore our griefs and carried our sorrows they changed it into the image of Christ he bears our sins and is pained those are two different translations and two different meanings Proving to you that they are twisting the scriptures. You see it. God didn't ordain either translation. And no one can prove that God ordained the King James Version or this version. So what? One is saying he bore our griefs. Another one said he bore our sins. And we know grief's def definition is deep sorrow. And we know sin is the transgression of the law. And a lot of people is happy to do sin. You know. We accounted him to be in trouble. And it said we did esteem him stricken. Stricken mean diseased. If you don't know. But it can mean something else. Punished as well. Smitten of God and afflicted. So God smited him or the Romans smited him. Let's keep going. I'm just proving to you that you're wrong and you're and you buying the infiltration. You and your congregants. New American Standard 1977 version. Surely our griefs he himself bore and our sorrows he carried yet we ourselves esteem him stricken sick in this case. Smitten of God and afflicted. Totally different from this one. We're trying to paint the likeness of Jesus Christ. Another one. Same thing. Surely he has bore our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken and afflicted. Surely he has borne and just keep saying the same thing. All these uh, different translations. But you have another translation right here who's trying to paint a picture that is Jesus Christ dying for our sins. When no one died for our sins before and God don't change. How somebody going to die for our sins and we was given an everlasting covenant and an everlasting salvation and an everlasting love from God. This is insanity. The only people doomed to hell was the Gentiles. And so this is their false God, man. You got to stop buying this. God said he ain't never saved these nations, man. The only nation saved for a period of time was the, the nation of Jonah, the men of Nineveh. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. 
for the transgression of my people was he stricken. He was taken from prison. He was taken from prison. That should have let you know it wasn't him at all. When did Jesus go to jail? Come on, y'all you, you got, you got to grow up, man, and snap out of the spell. When did Jesus go to jail? He wasn't in no damn prison, man. And from judgment, and who declared his generation, he was cut off from the land of the living for the transgressions of my people was he stricken. Let's keep going. We're going to prove that stricken means sick with an illness. When was Jesus dying of an illness? Never. International Standard Version. From the detention, same thing, prison, and judgment, he was taken away. And who can even think about his descendants? Yes, this man had children. Somebody tell me the names of Jesus' children. That's what I thought. That mean that he would have to have a wife too, huh? Somebody tell me the name of Jesus' wife. It's some liars out there to say he married his own mama. Uh, it's some liars out there to say he married Mary Magdalena. Show me where that's written. We got to stop believing lies and fantasies. Again, from detention and judgment, he was taken away and who can even think about his descendants? And this is a more righteous version because this man had descendants, but they tried to take it away, but they couldn't. For he was cut off from the land of the living. He was stricken, given a disease for the transgressions of my people. And we're going to break that down because that's a lot. Not the disease part, but for the transgressions. Young literal translation. By restraint and by judgment he had been taken. And of his generation who does meditate that he has been cut off from the land of the living by the transgressions of my people. He is plagued. Letting you know that it was a disease. He had a plague. When was Jesus in, in, in jail? When did he have a plague? All right. Yet it pleased the Lord Yahweh to bruise him. Wait a minute. It yet it pleased the Lord Yahweh to bruise him. Who the fuck is him? He hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. What man soul can be made an offering for sin? Ain't Moses. So who is it? He shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of the Lord Yahweh shall prosper in his hand. Isaiah 53, number 10. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. He shall see his seed, his children. Jesus don't have children. He shall prolong his days. Jesus did not prolong his days. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. So this one got children and he lived a long life. The opposite of Christ. You got to understand that the book was infiltrated like I read to you in the beginning. Barren study Bible. Yet it was the Lord will to crush him and to cause him to suffer. He gave him that disease. And when his soul is made a guilt offering, he will see his offspring. So in the other word, verse, it said he had descendants. And these are saying that he has children and offspring that he will see. He will prolong his days. He lived a long life. 
and the good pleasure of the Lord will prosper in his hand. Mm -hmm. Not yo Jesus Christ. New Heart English Bible. Yet the Lord was pleased to crush him and make him ill. So we know he had a plague or an illness and he went to prison and he had descendants. I hate to say it, but you are a moron. And the people following you are idiots. They come over here and they hear the truth. And they go back to that insanity. This is not talking about Jesus and all of y'all know it. Nor are the rest of the verses you ever gave me talking about Jesus. It was an infiltration. And when you lie and put in a lie, God uses people like me to clean that shit up. He will see his offspring. He will prolong his days and, and the desire of the Lord will succeed by his hand. J.P. Tanakh, 1917. Yet it pleased the Lord to crush him by disease. Not by a bunch of stripes on his, his, his side. To see if his soul would offer itself as restitution. See how they took that and they changed it to he dying for our sins. To see if his soul would offer itself as restitution is something totally different. Because it has some everything to do with just this man and not Christ whatsoever uh, being beat. That he might see his children prolong his days and that the prosper the purpose of the Lord might prosper by his hand. So you are highly deceived. You are highly deceived. You are confounded once again. Three times, man. And this is God giving you a sign. Three times I confounded you and all of your wise men. Your whole congregation are liars, man, and deceivers. Your frauds. You have come to the truth. God sent you over here to hear this truth. And this truth keep marching on. God gave y'all 400 years to turn away from. From Christ crucified, mammon, and all the rest of their bow gods. To stop worshiping them and worship him alone. That means don't say Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. Don't add Christ. It ain't no God in Christ. It is God's name alone. We are in captivity right now. For 400 years for worshiping false gods. And y'all going to get it. I mean, and, and, and y'all going to get it. When are y'all going to get it? Hebrews. We worship God alone. We have always worshiped God alone. When are y'all going to get it? Ten times you were warned to serve only God. Nehemiah 9, 6. Thou even thou art the Lord alone. There is no Christ there, man. Thou hast made the heavens. What? By himself. Isaiah 44, 24. Thus says the Lord, I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretches forth the heavens alone. There is no sun there. He letting you know that you got deceived. We worship God alone. God is alone and God is good with that. He spread us abroad the earth by himself. Why do y'all want to keep adding a partner? And that partner, according to the testimony I read to you last time, is a God. And y'all putting a false God next to our God is polytheism, paganism, and the highest wrongdoing, man. Y'all got to stop that. Number three, Deuteronomy 32, 12. So the Lord alone did lead him. And there was no strange God, Jesus, with him. When is Jesus going to step in right here? He ain't, man, because he don't exist. For Job 9, 8, which alone spreadeth out the heavens and treadeth upon the waves of the sea. 
Four times God is saying what? I'm alone. How many times do y'all need to hear this, man? Show me the times he said he had a son in here. I asked you those questions and you never answered them because you cannot. Because your religion is false, man. Psalms 86.10 For thou art great and does wonderful things. You are God alone. All the prophets are telling you. Job, Moses, Isaiah, Nehemiah. Right? Psalms. What is that? David, right? Psalms 148.13 Let them praise the name of the Lord. For his name alone, not... Yahweh Bayashim, Yahweh Shai. His name alone is excellent. Stop adding gods with our God, man. Y'all going to hell. You think it's us, but it's you. You're the one going to be there deceived and distraught and confounded when God tell your ass the truth. His glory is above the earth and the heavens. Isaiah 2 11 the lofty look of man shall be humble like your face right now and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day ain't no father and son dual dynamic dual team y'all deceived man seven times God is saying what I'm alone I'm alone I'm alone man come on ain't no Christ there now is God a man that he should lie or the son of damn man. It's the reason why that verse is in there. Put not your faith in princes or the son of man. Wherein there is no salvation. Google it man. Learn something. Isaiah 45 23. I have sworn by myself says God. He don't need no Christ. To second his shit. The word is going out of my mouth in righteousness. And shall not return. That whatever I say. It ain't coming back. It's, it's word. That unto me every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall swear. But they lied and said it was going to be Christ. Right? Everything evil is connected to Christ. Jeremiah 22 5. But if you will not hear these words. I swear by myself. Says the Lord. That this house shall become a desolation. And it did. Because y'all won't hear these words. That God is alone. Ten times, man. How many times you need it? I can give it to you some more. And you know it. I thought ten was enough. Ezekiel 38, 23. Thus will I magnify myself and sanctify myself. And I will be known in the eyes of many nations. And they shall know that I am the Lord. When he going to glorify the son, stupid? He ain't never glorified no son in the Old Testament. And God said he don't change and don't add no words or subtract his words. Y'all added Christ, man. You and the pagan heathen infiltration. You a part of their system, man. You working for the damn devil. And you know it. I'm letting you know it. You have been proven liars over and over again. You and your followers are supremely deceived. Even knowing you have been proven wrong, you made no apologies, man. You're all going to hell. But the worst of all, you're willing to sacrifice your entire congregation because of your damn pride. They are all, all of these people, Dow, you, GMS, GMC, whatever, all of y'all, uh, ISUPK, I U I P whatever the hell bullshit y'all the name yourself G O C C H O I all of y'all is deceived man all of y'all helping the damn false agenda right here man to keep our people down by worshiping a false god and y'all willing because of y'all pride y'all heard me y'all know I'm speaking the truth but because of y'all pride, y'all gonna lead all them people to hell with y'all, man. Y'all ain't going nowhere when God come. Watch, y'all gonna see. And that on that day of judgment is gonna be unforgivable because you was willing to sacrifice 
your whole interrogation because of your pride. You ain't willing to say, hey, I was wrong. We was misled. Rap the news is right. And so y'all gonna go to hell, man. God says serve him only. So we we just served God alone up there. Now we see in Deuteronomy 6, 13, fear the Lord your God and serve him only. Why can't y'all hear God? Y'all say y'all believing in Christ. Luke 4, 8, Jesus said it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. You only worship and serve God alone. You do hear the words. Each one I'll prove to you 10 times. And 10 is enough, man. Matthew 20, 28. The son of man did not come to be served. So stop. You got to stop. Again, we're going to go back to the top. So you see, you was wrong in your verses, right? I proved that the priesthood was changed and they changed the law. I proved that they laid open the book and they painted the likeness of their image, Christ crucified in there. I just proved all this to you, man. I proved it to you the time before and the time before that. God is going to break the pride of your arrogancy when he comes shortly. And y'all going to be confounded with meteorites up your ass. This is Raptor News.